Satnam, good morning. Welcome to week five of our Kundalini Yoga Challenge. And it is day 29. So um, we're doing three minutes of Fists of Anger to transmute or release or allow to practically discharge the energy of anger. Uh, and to get that energy out of the body with the, not just the movement, but also the breath. Um, and then we're doing this meditation for activating the reflex that allows us to look at our inner conflicts. Where do we have this uh, should, should, would, want to, but uh, something else is happening so there's this conflict um, and sometimes it becomes self-sabotaging too right where we know we're good at something and we have the desire to have an idea or have a concept and then we find all these excuses why we should not take that on um, so let us tune in and we will begin the challenge. Let's synchronize our breath, deeply inhale and full exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine through the crown of your head, pulling up, exhaling, gently releasing, gliding the shoulder blades down the back, pushing all the breath out next deep inhale slow and deep lifting the gaze gently up to the brow point suspending the breath for a moment being fully present feeling your body from the inside out exhale and let's inhale deeply to tune in Om. Sri Guru Deva Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Sri Guru Deva Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Sri Guru Deva Name, Deep inhale, root lock engage, gazing to the space between the brows. Bowing to your inner wisdom, your teacher within, universal wisdom, and exhale, release. Okay, Satnam, so here we go. The mudra for today's practice, you know, fists of anger, thumb is joining the pad on the mercury, pinky, squeezing that thumb tightly if you'd like, and we're doing a backward stroke bringing the emotion of anger or any unresolved situation or things that preoccupy you uh, whatever it may be or it could be nothing and what wait for it to come or maybe it won't come whatever b b don't plan it out just write it out right okay so we're doing breath of fire women on the moon cycle or pregnant beyond first trimester um, long deep breath instead focus here at the brow point um, if it drifts off, just remember to bring it back in. Mentally could be chanting, Satnam, 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 or I am, I am, I am, whatever. Don't have to complete the sentence. Okay, so here we go. We'll begin with the breath. <laughs> Engaging the navel. <laughs> and we'll go to arms.
Keep going, powerfully engaging the navel, focus at the brow point. Last 40 seconds. the spine up. Cannon breath out. Two more times, just like that. Squeeze tight, squeeze tight. Cannon breath out. Last one, deepest inhale. Pull the root lock, shoulders press down, lift the spine up, hold the gaze. <sighs> Bring your arms down onto your lap or onto your knees and Gya Mudra, wisdom seal. Just stay here in the space for a moment. Notice the inflow and outflow of your breath without inner story. Inhale deeply. A sigh or an exhale. A few more times at your pace. And when you're ready, you may gently open your eyes. Take a little bit of water. Readjust, stretch your legs. And we go on to our meditation. The activation of the reflex that allows us to look at our inner conflicts. What, what, where are we still swinging like a pendulum? What's... Uh, what's coming up behind that guilt shame why we don't do something uh, so it, it, whatever comes up you don't have to make anything up just allow it be curious just be curious I wonder what else I don't know about myself right I wonder what else I don't know about myself and see what comes up don't have to make it up so hands are here at the chest thumbs are pulling up shoulders are relaxed chin slightly tucked in Gazing to the brow point if the eyes are fully closed or gazing down to the floor with the eyelids 9 10 closed. Inhaling deeply for 5 seconds, exhaling for 5 seconds and then suspending that breath, keeping the breath out with a completely relaxed diaphragm of abdominals. So not tensing any part of you but just not moving and stretch that out at this point we want to aim for 15 if at all possible or whatever the next challenging level is for you so anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds on suspension all right let's come into the posture first let's take a deep inhale to set into our good yogic posture exhale releasing the shoulder blades keeping the chest lifted heart open chin tucked Let's begin deeply inhaling. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Two, three, 
four, five, suspending, and at your pace, continue.
make this your last cycle. And then deeply inhale. Suspend the breath, engage to Mula Bandha, root lock, gaze to the brow plane, hold the breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch the arms up. Root lock. Exhale. Last one, deep inhale. Stretch up, stretch the arms, shake the arms, stretch the spine. Exhale. And just go inward for a moment, staying in this space. When you're ready, take a deep inhale and full exhale. Another deep inhale. A sigh or an exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, you may open your eyes. Well done. Okay, today was definitely different for me. And the inner conflict that I wanted to share with you is um, the guilt around uh, taking care of myself. The guilt around um, when I do something that is uh, part of my wellness mentality, you know, if it is putting oil on my skin, massaging, I'm just into these little silicone suction cups that is really awesome. And uh, so as I engage in these activities that I know are good for me, good for the skin, good for the soul, there's always this nagging little voice like, Wah! you have to do that, that, that. You know, don't forget that, 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 you know, and then it just keeps firing and firing and it feel like it takes away from my present, right? So it's, a, it's an awareness and it's a constant practice with, I was wondering, instead of listening to that voice, you know, and, and giving in, which used to be like, oh no, I don't have time for this right now. I got to go do this. That used to be. So now I'm making the time. I'm just listening to this, you know, quacky crow. Um, and now it's still energy leaking out because I'm paying attention to it, right? I'm listening and it's like, I have to combat for everything it tells me, like you shouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. I have a comeback, you know? So I have this vicious dialogue in my head. So now I have to look at why is that voice in there in the first place? Where did it come from? What, where, why, why is it there? Where did I get in trouble for taking care of myself or whatever? Okay, so you see the, I'm sharing with you the progression that has taken me all these years to evolve and I'm still having that little that, 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 that. So now I'm gonna go after where was this little voice born out of what? Um, and I feel that will bring me to the next level of what I have to adjust. So just wanted to share that with you. Maybe you'll find it helpful. Let's seal our practice with one long satnam. Inhale first. Exhale. Inhale again. Satnam. Now, thank you so much for joining me, for staying the course, week five, day 29. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a wonderful Monday.